Hi and hello, I am Athena Pandian here. In this video, we are going to see about uh, what about the scholarships for the students, those who are willing to study in abroad, especially for undergraduate, postgraduate, and PhD. Because uh, many of them have some of the financial troubles, they are looking for some of the scholarships and everything. So, in this video, what you are going to see about is what are all these scholarships and what is the need we need to do for that getting the scholarships and everything you are going to see in this video. Scholarships. Actually, scholarships is not an exam. You have first of all noted down the scholarships is the agencies, some of the agencies, they are providing funding for the people or the students, those who are academically strong but financially weak. That particular students are eligible for getting the scholarship from the funder agencies. That particular scholarships includes the eligibility criteria they need to follow some of the eligibility criteria the eligibility criteria may be vary from uh, different agencies according to their uh, terms and conditions and uh, the most probably 99 percentage of the scholarships funders they are giving the funds for the students only for paying the tuition fees so if you are willing to study over any universities in, in all over the world you need to enroll that particular universities from the university enrollment and the fee structure you need to approach some of the agencies those who are providing for the scholarships there are so many agencies available in all over the country so you are you just go and approach this particular uh, agencies according to your uh, according to your uh, marks that you have some of the eligibility criteria especially the academic should be in a neat way most of the agencies that is scholarships providers they are looking for some of the good academic students especially you should have some of the um, reasonable academic score for example if it is a, if you are calculated in the percentage you need to score 80 percentage or more in the undergraduate if you are looking for postgraduate in uh, abroad you should get 85 percentage or 80 percentage above is safer for getting a scholarships or if you are going for undergraduate in abroad then you need to score 80 percentage in the schooling studies so this is the basic eligibility they need some of the international scholarship agencies they are just uh, noted down they are expecting some of the good score from the IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, SAT or whatever the exams are you need to give a particular average threshold marks you need to cross over then only you can able to get a scholarships so this is the basic thing you need to need then now we are going to see what some of the very good agencies some of the very good scholarships providers uh, they are providing every year to approach to give the students to study abroad so what are all the agencies are just shortlisting one of the three most important uh, scholarships agencies they are providing uh, each and every year uh, they are providing funds to the students to study abroad so in that the first list is go clean scholarships actually the title is uh, the name is go clean scholarships it is awarded by the alltoiletmasters.com this particular agency is this particular scholarships trust it will spend around 3500 us dollars per student for studying undergraduate postgraduate and phd into the abroad especially in the usa canada and australian universities these particular universities as i already said that this particular university this particular scholarships amount is only used by your know, tuition fees the documents required to submit this particular scholarships is archived you need to enroll the university where you are going to study and your GPA marks of your undergraduate or else if you are going for applying for the undergraduate you need to share you need to uh, uh, submit your uh, schooling marks and everything so all should more than 80 percentage in academic results then only you can able to get a scholarship and then you need to write about an essay what is who you who you are and what is your family and why you are needing the scholarships and all the um, essays you need to write and submit at Allah according to their uh, uh, mail IDs and everything so once they review it once they review it then they are just selected some of the students and 
The next important agency is uh, the University of Greenwich International Student Scholarship. This particular scholarship is only for the students, those who are willing to study in United Kingdom, that is UK. Uh, or whether it may be a UK, uh, whether it may be a UG or PG or PhD, whatever it is, but the university should be in UK. That particular uh, UK university is only coming under this particular scholarship. The amount they are given is around £3,000. They are given in a one time, not given in the installments. So if you are selected as a scholarship student, then they are provided a £3,000 in a single time. And then, as usual, this particular £3,000 is used, you, you are going to use only for the tuition fees, not other expenses. So this is the procedure, this is the eligibility, eligibility criteria is same as that of the uh, uh, previous one. So you need to score more than 8, 8 points by CGPA and additional eligibility score is you need to clear IELTS, TOEFL, IELTS or TOEFL or GRE or MAT or GMAT or everything or any of the exams you need to clear and along with that you should have the uh, uh, well qualified academic marks that is more than 80 percentage then you are comfortable for getting this particular scholarship that is University of Greenwich International Scholarships and then the last is a Broken Fish International Scholarships that particular agency is also providing a uh, fund in single time that particular agency provided amount is around thousand dollar this is a very minimum actually but they are providing this particular funds for each and every year so the eligibility criteria is same as that of the previous one that is uh, the academic marks it should be a uh, should be in a reasonable way and then you should have ielts or gre or uh, toefl exams this particular broker fish this particular broken fish agencies they are giving the students uh, uh, for studying uk universities usa universities canada universities australian universities and singapore universities so these are all the best university these are all the best scholarships agencies available uh, you are the students those who are willing to study ug or pg or phd you are just go and search this particular three important scholarship agencies and then you can able to get an idea to get a scholarship amount to study over there that is i repeat that is go clean that is go clean scholarships and then uh, the, the second is the university of greenwich then University of Greenwich International Student Scholarship and the third one is third and last one is the Brokerfish International Student Scholarships. So these three agencies are best agencies in my point of view. Go and approach, get a scholarships and all the best. That's all about the video. Thank you.